So the way I see it, competitive eating is pretty much the 21st century equivalent of a travelling freak show. Most people are disgusted by it, but they can't help but watching. With that in mind, it makes sense that today I'm taking on the UK's biggest freak shake challenge. Who's gonna? I think it was Paolo Natini that said, I put some new shoes on and suddenly everything's all right. Man, that was a cheesy joke. Well, let's do this. So the thing with milkshake challenges is, they're all so different. Could be a thin milkshake, could be a thick milkshake, could be made with ice cream, so it's freezing cold. Could be in a glass, a bottle. Ultimately though, it comes down to chugging power. And I don't know if you saw my last video, but I'm actually getting way better at that now. I can get a gallon of water down in about a minute or so. Disclaimer though, because I don't want to get sued for reckless endangerment. Don't try that at home, kids. Um, this being a freak shake though, um, it is going to have some weird toppings on there, so just excited to get in there, figure out just how freaky one milkshake can get. Right guys, so this one really needs an introduction. This is the Mr. Hyde Freak Shake Challenge, which is the biggest freak shake challenge in England, maybe the world, I don't know. Uh, but it's basically um, one gallon of bacon milkshake. Um, the uh, the glass of the jar is uh, is covered in maple syrup, um, pulled pork uh, around the top of the rim. Um, there's caramel sauce on the inside, um, and then it's topped with a giant pulled pork and candied bacon waffle burger. So all in all, it's about 10 pounds of matter, right? Um, and it's a 20 minute time limit, 20 quid if you don't do it. Um, and um, yeah, like I said, it's about 10 pounds uh, total weight. So it's gonna be interesting uh, and I'm looking forward to the flavor. Kinda. <laughs> but uh, Okaburi's asked me to come down and uh, test drive it. Um, of course, if there's a Mr. Hyde milkshake, there has to be a Dr. Jekyll. Um, and that looks a little bit more reasonable. Um, it's a little bit smaller, uh, and it's basically just waffles, donuts, and a little bit of cheesecake on the top with a chocolate and peanut butter milkshake, which sounds much nicer. Uh, but the Mr. Hyde thing sounded so cool. Um, and it's launched next week, so I got a little sneak preview of it. Uh, but I hope you enjoy the video. Easter! What's happening, Beard Army? The uh, biggest freak shake in the UK, um, the Mr. Hyde. Um, crazy bacon milkshake topped with a waffle burger thing. Um, yeah, you can see tactically I was thinking with this, uh, I try and chug the, the gallon, which is. Uh, this is actually a, a little bit more than the gallon, it's 3.8 litres. Um, so I was going to do that and then eat the food, but then I kind of got out of shot. And uh, my glute game is nowhere near strong enough to perch like this for a minute, so... Yeah. Uh, brain freeze. <laughs> Inevitably got the brain freeze. Um, anyway, Swuckleberry's invited me down again. Um, to try out uh, one of their two new uh, crazy milkshake challenges. Uh, the Dr. Jekyll thing sounds pretty nice. Donuts, waffle, uh, slice of cheesecake on top of a chocolate and peanut butter shake. Still, you know, a lot of food, but this on the other hand is the evil version. Look, that's how evil it is. Look at all those bacon pieces. Um, uh, so it's a bacon milkshake. Um, yeah, topped with waffle burger thing. And, uh, yeah, it was actually, it was surprisingly nice. It's, this is the, my favourite food challenge 
probably of this year so far. Um, the, the bacon milkshake was sweet enough, uh, and I love the sweet and savoury thing, you know that about me, so uh, it was cool. And the, the burger on top, uh, it was really a complete meal pretty much. Um, it was the candied bacon, it had that perfect crunch to it, uh, but the pulled pork and the patties, uh, and even the bacon, uh, bacon A's uh, gave it a nice succulence, you can see it here. Um, I just wanted to say what the food was playing out. Um, thanks, you know, I don't get too hippie too often, but nearly 14,000 subscribers on YouTube now, which I know is not huge compared to some people, but all matters to me, um, and it means a lot that you guys come back and watch my videos and find them entertaining. 6,000 uh, likes on Facebook, 7,000 on Twitter, um, and yeah, because of you guys, I've had some crazy opportunities this year, and last year actually. Um, so thanks, uh, hopefully I'll keep you entertained, hopefully you keep watching. Um, especially if I do stuff like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I see I'm slowing down a touch now. I'm see, I'm just getting me through, man. There we go. They're called parachute pants, but parachute pants. Sorry, I'll always there. Getting into a little debate there about MC Hammer's parachute pants, not baggy pants. <laughs> For some reason, there seems to be a cop car outside my house. Just another day in my neighborhood. So I brought it in with over five minutes to spare. Hope you enjoyed this video, it's a little bit different. Um, and I haven't forgot about the 10,000 subscriber spicy challenge. Uh, I'm just uh, getting around to arranging it, hoping to do it for charity. Uh, but anyways, until then, bid.